In a quiet park away from public gaze, Muhammad in the checked shirt and his friend Abdi Fatter in the white one tell me their stories. Both were child soldiers. Muhammad says when he was 12, the Islamist rebels Al-Shabaab abducted him and nine of his friends from a school in Mogadishu. He was trained to kill people like Abdi Fatter. The pro-government militia al sunnah Wajamah snatched Abdi Fatter at 14 from a playground near his home and forced him to work as a spy. And this one, Abdi Fatter described the area where he was sent to fight, the front lines of one of the fiercest urban battlegrounds in the city. And there was a lot of fighting. Yeah, and another fight. Yeah. In Somalia's two-decade-old conflict, their story is shockingly common. Abdi Fatter tells me he decided to escape when he saw so many of his friends die. He ran away when they sent him to spy on Al-Shabaab. Muhammad managed to flee from Al-Shabaab's training camp. His moment came when they asked him to be a suicide bomber. He didn't want to fight or use a gun, he says. He only wants to go back to school and be a teacher. According to Human Rights Watch, all Somalia's warring factions are guilty of using children, but they single out Al-Shabaab for the worst abuses. The Islamist group has at times celebrated the role that children play in their organization. Though their spokesman wasn't available for comment on Human Rights Watch's allegations. But the numbers of Somali children arriving in Nairobi with stories of fighting are growing at an alarming rate. Most end up in the city's Somali district. Nobody really knows how many former child soldiers make it to Nairobi, but the best estimates put the numbers in their hundreds. The problem is that there is no formal way of reintegrating them back into the community. So once they get here, most wind up on the streets. Somali community leaders try to find all the new arrivals, but they admit it's hopeless. You find the other day, the child is becoming a street boy. The child is starting drug abuse, so it's really very painful. The costs of Somalia's war run way beyond its borders and are carried across the generations. Peter Grester, Al Jazeera, Nairobi.